All right, guys, this is the Apex electric toothbrush made by Fozu, and it has a feature in it that I've never seen before in an electric toothbrush. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Christina, the hygienist, here today with another dental product review. Today's product, as I just mentioned, is the Apex Electric Toothbrush. And before I get into the nitty gritty, I have a couple of announcements. Number one, I will be doing a giveaway of several Fozu electric toothbrushes. So stick around to the end for instructions on how to enter to win. The second announcement is if you guys are interested in purchasing an Apex toothbrush for yourself, you can go to fozu.com and at the checkout, if you type in ask a hygienist, all caps, no spaces, you can get 10% off your purchase. Okay, on to the nitty gritty. So the Apex electric toothbrush, it sells for $59.99 plus tax, but minus the 10% if you use my discount code. So the price includes obviously the brush itself, two brush heads, one is sensitive and one is clean. This is the clean one. I mean, they're both clean. Well, actually this one's not clean. Haha, <laughs> funny. This is technically not clean because I used it, but it's yeah, you get what I'm saying. Clean and sensitive. And it also comes with a charger and some instructions. It doesn't come with a travel case, which is a little bit sad, but not a deal breaker. Okay, so the brush itself comes with four modes, clean, polish, white, and gum care. And you can use each mode at three different intensities, small, medium, and large. Soft, medium, and hard. Powerful, gentle, medium, and strong. It also comes with a built-in two-minute timer, and the timer itself is broken down into 30-second segments. It's called a quad pacer type of setup. Actually, almost, I think every electric toothbrush that I've ever used, at least, has this quad pacer setup. You're supposed to use an electric toothbrush in sections, four different sections, and brush each section for 30 seconds. So cheek side, tongue side, and biting surface. If you guys are like, wait, what? I've been using my electric toothbrush all wrong. Yeah, you probably have. If that's the case, I have made a video of how to use an electric toothbrush properly. I'll leave a link down in the description below as well as at the end of this video. Anyway, back to the Apex toothbrush. The feature that I've never seen in other electric toothbrushes is instead of like turning on automatically when you press the buttons, I'm pressing them right now in case you can't hear them, but it doesn't turn on automatically. It lets you toggle through all the modes and different intensities. And then when you're ready to actually turn it on, you long press and then it starts. That's kind of a cool feature because once you've played around with all the features and, and figured out um, what each one does and how each one works, instead of you know having the toothbrush be all messy and kind of vibrate all over the place, it can stay off while you figure out which setting you want to use and then long press to turn it on. Again, I've never seen this in any other electric toothbrushes. Usually you just press the button and it starts going. So kind of a cool feature for anyone who's like OCD and doesn't like to make a mess. All right, the other cool thing is the battery on this thing is supposed to last six months per one charge, which is pretty cool. Don't have to worry about charging for half a year. Anyway, all that is fine and good, but the real question is how well does it clean? Glad you asked. Here's a picture of my teeth with disclosing solution after using the Apex electric toothbrush. Now, just a reminder, I do have Invisalign attachments on my teeth, on my front teeth, so I do expect some pink to be kind of left over around the attachments, that's fine. What I was most interested in was how well it brushed along the gum line, so I took a picture of the inside of my bottom teeth there, and lo and behold, it brushed along the gum line wonderfully. The reason why I was so concerned about this was because a couple of weeks ago, I actually did a review on another electric toothbrush, and what the heck, all these flies, did you see that? I'm not making it up, I promise. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so I did a, a review on another electric toothbrush and it didn't get along the gum line on the insides of my teeth. Here's a picture of that. That's kind of a big deal. You know, you're trusting your electric toothbrush to do the work for you and it's not doing a good job. If you guys are curious to know what toothbrush that is, I'll have a link down below in the description to that as well, just so you know which toothbrush never to buy. Anyway, tangent alert. By the way, when I used the Apex toothbrush, I used it on the clean mode at the medium intensity level. Over the next couple of days, I tried out all the other modes. I didn't really like the white mode. It didn't feel like it was really cleaning my teeth. And just out of curiosity, I used some disclosing solution. I didn't take a picture, but it looked similar to that toothbrush that didn't do a good job. Kind of just missed along the gum line, but maybe I was using it wrong. What do I know? I'm just a hygienist. <laughs> but again, the clean mode worked well for me, so no problems there. The other kind of downside for me personally was the timer automatically resets when you shut the toothbrush off. 
Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Christina, obviously the timer is going to reset when you shut your toothbrush off. Duh. But here's what I mean. I've used electric toothbrushes in the past where, okay, full disclosure, I'm a little bit OCD. So I try to do a really clean job of cleaning my teeth, if that makes sense. You know how some people can like walk around the kitchen or whatever while brushing their teeth? I can't do that. I need to stand in front of a sink in case anything drips. And about halfway through brushing uh, my teeth, I like to pause my toothbrush and spit everything out and resume. So with the Apex toothbrush though, when I turn it off, the timer automatically resets. So if I'm brushing like in the middle of a quadrant or a, a section and I turn it off, it restarts. And again, I've used toothbrushes where if you turn it off, it, the timer doesn't reset. It just kind of pauses for a little bit. So you have a little bit of wiggle room to spit and resume right where you left off. For some of you, it might not even matter because you're like, I don't even follow the timer. You should. Anyway, that's a separate issue. So overall, I would say the Apex electric toothbrush is actually a pretty nice electric toothbrush. Very comparable to leading brands like Sonicare even. And let's be honest, fraction of the price. I mean, I just checked out their website on Sonicare. One of their newest brushes is like $350. It's supposed to be like very smart brush and sense the type of person you are and like your personality. I don't even know. Crazy. For me, most importantly is does a toothbrush work and brush your teeth well along the gum line? And this brush hits the mark. If you guys have any further questions about the Apex toothbrush, go ahead and comment them below and I'll try to get back to you with some info on that. Moving on, as promised, to the giveaway. So I'll be giving away three Fozu electric toothbrushes. One of them will be an Apex, which is what I demonstrated to you guys today. The other two are a couple of different models. Number one is the Lux. The Lux includes one less cleaning mode, so just three cleaning modes and the battery charge lasts a little bit less. I believe it's four months instead of six. And then the Nov or Nov, the display itself is a little bit different. It looks like a digital display. It comes with three cleaning modes instead of four and the battery lasts three months instead of the four or six like on the other brushes. So there you have it. The way you enter to win. Number one, subscribe to my channel. Number two, subscribe to the Fozu channel. I will leave a link to that in the description below. Make sure to go check out their channel and subscribe to them. Number three, comment below on this video and include this emoji in the comment so I know that you're interested in winning a toothbrush and you're not just commenting or trolling on my video here. And then lastly, check back on this date and time, mark it in your calendars to see if you won. I'll be holding a raffle drawing on video and announcing the winner that way. So enter yourself and maybe share with a friend. Alrighty guys, I think that about covers everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care of your teeth.